Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Showdown series. If you guys remember in the last episode, we did a ton of stuff and um, yeah, go check it out. We actually battled a very depressing uh, Venusaur and yeah, go check it out. I don't want to talk about it. So uh, <laughs> yeah, in this episode we're going to do some more OU stuff. So let's get right into this. I am, I am rendering a video as we speak and um, so yeah, my computer is making a lot of noise. Uh, so yeah, try and ignore that if you can. I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but um, if you can, please try and ignore that. Uh, we're going to get in two nice battles though, hopefully. So let's start. This guy, off the bat, I can notice he has three dragon types, which is kind of... And he has two steel types. Don't know exactly what he's trying to accomplish with that. But I'm just going to probably lead off, lead off with the Manectric because that wall is pretty much most of his team. Actually, I'm kind of going to expect him to lead off. Oh, I just burped. I don't even know why I burped. Um, I'm going to expect him to lead off with the Mammal Swine and I'm going to lead off with Staraptor. And uh, he does lead off with the Mammal Swine. I'm going to close combat here because this does take care of most of his team. And it will definitely take care of this Mammal Swine unless he is a Sash Mammal Swine. Which I don't expect. He goes for the Ice Shard. That's perfectly fine with me. He is a Sashed Mammal Swine. Okay. Was not expecting that. Um, I'm going to go into Azumarill. Because he cannot really do much to my Azumarill. 10% even though it was only 9%. Alright. Um, I'm just going to Waterfall. Actually I'm an Aqua Jet. I'm an Aqua Jet. Yep. Aqua Jet will be smarter. Because I know his Ice Shard will outspeed. But he doesn't even go for the Ice Shard. So that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I'm going to switch out because he's probably going to go out into the Magnezone or the Jirachi. Most likely the Jirachi. Oh, he actually switched out into the Magnezone. That's kind of surprising. Um, I'm just going to switch out into the Excadrill and go for an EQ. And wow, my computer is making so much, so much noise. Jeez. Um, he goes for a Substitute. I'm not really that afraid of this because I could go for an EQ and I am faster he does have HP fire that's okay um I'm tempted to rock slide predicting the predicting the um what is this thing called the Dragonite the Dragonite but uh, I'm just gonna go for an EQ because that is the much much safer play just to go for an EQ he does switch on to the Dragonite though I was so close to going for the rock slide but that is okay that is okay uh, I'm just going to go for an Iron Head because I don't want to activate any weakness policy that he may or may not have because of the multi-scale. Uh, he just goes straight away for the Fire Punch, actually. Um, that's kind of surprising, but okay. Um, I could just go on to Staraptor and Brave Bird away, but... But, but, but... Um, I want to go into Manectric because if uh, my Excadrill outspeeded, outspeeded, if that's a word, then my Mega Manectric will definitely outspeed this thing. Definitely, definitely. So I'm just going to go for an HP Ice. That'll 100% KO this thing. He actually decides to switch out to Haxorus. This Haxorus probably won't be able to take this HP Ice. He actually does take the HP Ice, which is kind of surprising. But um, the way he brought that in, I'm guessing it's probably going to be Scarfed. But, and yeah, he's probably going to be Scarf, so I'm going to switch out into the Azumarill. Um, his attack is lowered by one stage, so I'm not too afraid, but uh, that is okay. He does go for a straight up Earthquake. Um, I'm going to go for a knockoff. It will KO anything, or not anything, but it will KO this thing. And uh, it will knock off an item if he decides to switch out. So let's see what he wants to do. He actually just stays in, which is uh, fine by me, fine by me. Uh, his Latios is going to be a bit of a problem. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do to his Latios yet, but that is okay. We will figure it out. We will figure it out. Now I'm going to go into the Salamence. Uh, he goes for sure a Flash Cannon, gets a crit, and gets a special D-drop, which is a ton of Bolshevik, but that is okay. I'm going to go for an EQ in case we outspeed. I don't know Magazone's speed, but it shouldn't be too fast. Because if I'm correct, Magneton's not that fast. Yup, we do outspeed and we do KO. We do KO. Uh, he's probably go out into the Latios and clean up here. 
which uh, he actually goes out into the Jirachi. Um, I'm just going to EQ because he's probably the Thunder Wave Iron Head set. Or he can just Ice Punch away. Alright, that works. That works too, I guess. Um, I'm going to go into the Manectric and Flamethrower, I think. Or I'm going to go into the Golbat and Super Fang first. And Super Fang. As soon as it lets me, because I already pressed Golbat, I don't know why it's not loading. Um, now that I'm recording, I think I um, I made the editing, or not the editing, the recording thing screen a little bit small, so I apologize. The very top, like the tippy top and the tippy bottom is a little bit cut out, but uh, it's okay. There's nothing at the bottom or the top that's of importance, so yeah, that's okay. We do get frozen, which is such hacks. Such hacks. Hopefully we can unthaw, which we do. Fortunately, but we missed the Super Fang, so it doesn't even really matter. Doesn't even really matter. Well, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Um, I'm pretty much forced to go out into Manectric and go for the Flamethrower right here. He could switch out if he wants to predict, but that is okay if he wants to. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's see what he wants to do, though. His Jirachi takes care of most of the rest of my team. Uh, knockoff will do some nice damage to him though. As long as he still has his item, I don't even know what his item is. It might be leftovers, but we can't tell yet. Let's see, he took a nice time to figure out that move. He is Scarf, because he did outspeed my Manectric. Uh, so, I'm thinking of switching out into a Zoomeril. A Zoomeril, a Zoomeril. Yep, I think I'm just going to do that. Switch out into a Zoomeril, and then go for the aqua jet or knockoff i think i'm gonna go for the knockoff and uh we do ko that thing he's probably guessing that i'm choice banded right here because of the way that i was that i've been playing with this i don't think i've used two different moves i'm pretty sure i haven't i might have though i might have i don't i don't really remember don't really remember um, I'm gonna play rough here. Actually, I can knock off. Knock off is gonna be safer. Uh, cause Psyshock, Psyshock actually does kill out. I am a Soul Vested, so I was expecting I would to probably live that, but whatever. Whatever, whatever. Um, so now, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, I'm probably just going to. Just going to. Hmm. I think I'm going to Star Raptor and go for the double edge. Or the U turn. I don't know. I think I'm going to go for the double edge. Go for the double edge. See how much damage it does. Because I'm pretty sure Dragon does not resist normal. Pretty certain. But let's find out. Let's find out. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Double edge does kill that Latios. This game is pretty much a win. It's in the bag, pretty much. He can go for an E-Speed here, but that is okay. If he wants to. He, he should. If he doesn't go for an E-Speed, then I win, pretty much. Well, not pretty much. I do win if he doesn't go for an E-Speed right here, right now. It's all up to you, Ace, X, Trainer, Ace. Or Ace, X, Trainer, X. Say wrong, my bad. He goes to go for an E-Speed after a long wait time. Um, I'm gonna go for an HP Ice. There's no reason for me to go for anything else. He was hoping for the crit, but he didn't. Go, he didn't get it, and we get the W. So that is nice. Um, let's just go search for another battle, because we always have at least two battles in this series. If you didn't know already, and this guy has two Grand types, two Dragon types, two Steel types, and then Protein and a Chansey. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna lead off with a Star Raptor, not a Star Raptor, my Star Raptor, or a Zoomeril. I'm gonna lead off with a Zoomeril actually, because I'm predicting the Garchomp. He does lead with the Garchomp. Um, I'm gonna go for a Play Rough here. No reason for me to go for anything else. Absolutely no reason. Uh, he switches out into the Chansey. All right, we do get a crit, which is really nice. And uh, because of that crit, I don't remember how much knockoff did. It was just. Last episode when I did knock off on a Chansey, but I already forgot. Already forgot. I'm going to go for a Waterfall. Hopefully get a flinch or a KO. 
We don't flinch and we don't KO, which is just a fail. Just a total fail. Um, I'm just going to waterfall in case he decides to switch out, which he definitely should not switch out. Um, he doesn't switch out. Okay. He's definitely going to go into the scissor right now. If he does not, then that Greninja is dead. Alright, he goes out into the Greninja. Greninja is pretty much dead right here if I can land this. If I can land this. We do land it, and that Greninja is dead. Okay, so Zoomerl is already putting in nothing but the finest of work. If he wants to go out into the Excadrill right here, that'll be perfect. That would be best case scenario. Let's see. Um, He goes out into the Scizor. Alright, was not expecting the Scizor to come out. Um, I'm going to go out into Salamence, because this Scizor cannot do much to me. Bullet Punch does 9%. He's probably Choice Bandit since he didn't Mega Evolve. So I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. He's probably going to switch out into Garchomp or Guja. So I'm just going to Dragon Dance. Let's see. He forfeited. Okay, so we win. Let's go for a third battle since we've only been recording for just over 11 minutes. A third battle is of sorts. This guy has two Dragon Types. Dragon Type is just a, like, it's just a theme for this, today's episode. It's just a theme. Um, I'm pretty sure I can just lead off with the Manectric safely. He, he leads off with the Rotom Wash. I'm going to go for a Vol Switch if I can press my Mega Evolution. There we go. And go for a Vol Switch. Because he doesn't have any Ground Types on his team. He's probably going to want to go for the Vol Switch also. And uh, I am unfortunately faster. Which really sucks. Um, really, really sucks. I'm gonna go out into Salamence. Gonna go out into Salamence. He goes for a Hydro Pump. Okay, good thing I went out into Salamence. I was thinking of going out into Excadrill, but thankfully I didn't. Thankfully. Um, I'm gonna go for a D-Dance. Uh, he does stay in, which leads me to believe. He has HP Ice. Okay, I was thinking maybe Will-O-Wisp, not HP Ice. Um, I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw. And it almost KOs. I was hoping it would KO, but that is okay. We do lose our Salamence pretty early on, but that is fine by me. That is fine by me. Uh, Vol Switch did 34%. So I'm going to go into Manectric and just Vol Switch again. Safely Vol Switch again. If he wants to switch out, that would be best case scenario right here. He doesn't switch out, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to go out into the Excadrill. Um, I think so. Yep, well, I'm going to go out into the Excadrill. Uh, if you want to go into the Latias, that is fine. I can just uh, Earthquake that thing because Levitate does not work. So I can just Earthquake that thing because of the Mold Breaker. He actually goes out into the Dragonite. Um, he probably wants me to go for a rock side because of weakness policy, so I'm going to go for an iron head. We don't get the flinch, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go for another iron head because I think I can live. Just kidding, I definitely did not live that. Um, I'm going to go out into... going to go out into... I think Azumarill would be the best, best choice right here. Yup, Azumarill. And I'm going to go for a play rough. Hopefully we land this. Hopefully. Because I know I can take a hit no matter what he uses. So if we can just land this. It'll all be okay. All be okay. Sudoku Swag. That's that guy's name really. Sudoku Swag. Alright. Alright. Um, I'm going to start this timer because he's taking his time. He does decide to just go for an E-speed. We do land our play rough fortunately. And KO that huge third Dragonite. Uh, he can go out into anything pretty much right here. Probably going to go out into the Ferrothorn. Okay, I was expecting the Thunderous. Uh, the Ferrothorn works too. He's probably going to set up the Rocks. I'm going to go out into Manectric and go for a Flamethrower. He actually goes for a Gyro Ball and gets a crit, which is really unfortunate. Flamethrower does KO this thing. Kind of expected it to. Um, he could go out into Scizor and Bullet Punch me and probably kill me. So I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna flamethrower here. I can't risk, I can't, uh, I'm thinking, should I switch out? Should I switch out? I can just flamethrower. Because the bullet punch is gonna do a ton of damage and I'm not really too bulky. 
not really too bulky. Um, you know what? I'm just going to go out into the Azumarill. Pretty much sack this thing off. He does Mega Evolve and go for the Bullet Punch. I'm going to go for a Waterfall in case I do manage to somehow live. Maybe he goes for Swords Dance. No nope, peak just Bullet Punch and KOs me. Now I can go out to the Manectric and get that Intimidate off. And Flamethrower. He actually switches out into the Latias. Alright. Okay. Um, I'm going to Volt Switch and then switch out into the Golbat. Golbat. This guy's pretty much going to try and stall here. That's what I'm that's what I'm guessing. That's where I'm getting from this. Um, I'm going to go for a Toxic because I can live. Or I can't. I don't know what... That was probably like really low damage the last time. Really, really low damage. I'm just going to go for a Double Edge because I'm pretty sure that's going to do a shit ton of damage. Yup, and it KOs him. That is perfect. That is perfect. I'm pretty sure a Bull Punch will not... Actually, it might. It definitely probably will. Yep, I only have 176 defense, so probably will take it out. He actually doesn't even go out into his scissor. He goes out into Thunderous, and I can double edge here and pretty much KO this thing. Yup. So that was a bad play on his part. Now his Bull Punch will definitely KO this uh, Star Raptor. This here Star Raptor. Yup, KOs. And now I can go out into Manectric, and it's all if I live this. If I live this, then we win. If I lose, then we lose. Or if I if I don't live, then we lose. And I take that. Take it all the way to the bank and we get the W. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, do everything that it says in a second. I love your face. And that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.